Oh my goodness. Megan, the stallion. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Let me tell you. And here's the thing. It's kind of sad. Now, this ain't going to take Nikki out. I can tell you that I'm feeling it. It's not, this is not the end all. In fact, this is about, because you know how like her album kind of got like, it did well upon release, but it got like kind of like lukewarm type of um, reviews and stuff like that initially in the beginning. Um, definitely, this is one of those things where it's like the re-release of, of this album is about to be, it's about to be fire. However, though, so so they definitely helping each other out right now. Like the the, the Megan sales, Nikki sales, the album sales, the, the concert sales about to go through the roof. But y'all, talk about karma. Talk about irony. Talk about the tables turning. Y'all know what this reminds me of? Go back to what year did Nikki come out? Like really hit the streets, like mainstream. Was it 08? Go back to when... Lil Kim and Nikki were beefing. Who's acting like Kim now? I tell you, I always say we the cause our own demise. <laughs> we the cause our own demise. The crazy thing is, it's like, man, all them years that if I was Lil Kim, I'd be sitting back somewhere feeling Benda fucking Kated. Are you hearing me? She's giving Kim circa 08. <laughs> it's giving Kim. And the wild thing is all those things she said about Kim, you know, the being washed up, you're not, you know, passing the torch and oh my goodness, you're not with the young girl. All, all of it, all of it. It's like pot, meat, kettle. <laughs> this is wild. And I'm like, and all I am is just like sitting here like, where are Nikki's friends? Where is Wayne? Where are you, Dwayne? Where is Wayne? Somebody needs to go to her house right now and take her phone because it is wild. And I mean, like from the beginning, I was like, dang, Nikki, you old oh, girl, you giving me Lil' Kim. You giving me Kimberly right now. You are going. And I love me some Lil' Kim. Like Lil' Kim is high key, one of my favorite rappers. Love me some Lil' Kim. But I mean, I'm I'm a fan, but I'm not fan enough where I'm like delusional. Like Kim really was tripping on Nikki way back in the day when when Nikki was first coming on the scene. It was a lot of hate. There it was a lot of you know, it was jealousies there. It was basically Kim feeling like, oh damn, I'm about to get replaced. I'm about you know, somebody about to take my spot. Blah blah blah. And yeah, a freshman took her spot. So and that was Nikki at the time. But let the tables turn, and here we are. We have a older Nikki, still young, still beautiful, but a older Nikki who's well into her very lucrative, astonishing career, feeling all types of ways about, and it's like, you know, people letting it ride and letting it slide. You know, it's like, okay, oh, I, I lot of this uh, and whoever, whatever other girl she get into beefs with. But this one, oh, she met her match. She met her match. And the fact that she is literally, I can't say she's going out like him because like I said, Nikki Star isn't falling. Mm-mm. No, it ain't even kind of over for her. But the fact that, girl, it's giving Kim. It's giving Kim. And I'm like, talk about the irony. You said Kim wasn't con consistent. Yeah, no, Kim took herself out. Now, I will say this one. Um, That jail stint, Fiery, is what messed Kim up. That jail stint that she did back in 05, that little year, that, that, that messed her up. Because from the, from the hardcore album... To, no to Notorious K.I.M., to La Bella Mafia. These were three hot albums back to back to back. Like Kim, you know how like some people would like put out a little mediocre little, um, uh, what do you call it? A uh, sophomore release or, or, or third release. Like no, Kim had three hot albums back to back to back. Like Kim was killing the game. And then, you know, she got caught up, caught up in the law, caught up trying to take care, you know, take up for friends. Did that little year, and that set her back real good. That set her back real. So definitely, it wasn't Nikki that took her out. It was yeah, Kim. Kim kind of you know she got out of jail, or and she went into jail, and she just didn't you know. And it's like you know benefit of the doubt. You know, I don't know what state of mind I'd be in post jail too. But yeah, but her steam definitely left. And then who else was supposed? Y'all know too. 
who else was supposed to give Nikki a run for her money during that time was Remy. Remy had a very promising career. Like Remy was that girl. Remy had a very promising career. And then Remy went off and did something very stupid and got six years. But Remy, like in real life, Remy was that girl. She was on that Nicki Minaj track. I don't think that Nicki would have not had what she has today, but I definitely think that Remy would have had, it would have been neck and neck. Remy would have been a big name. So it was just one of those situations where, you know, literally the the the, the stars were aligned for Nicki to succeed. Like literally there were nobody, there was nobody there to compete with her. So the stars were aligned for her to succeed, but it was supposed to be other people there, but circumstances took that out. Uh, Reed Kicker says, Nikki hasn't proven herself to be good at disc records. She needs to think, she needs time to think and rap. Nikki has no real, she sure ain't got no real friends. Chow, because like I said, somebody needs to go to her house and be like, Nikki, Nikki, baby, you can say that to me, but don't say that to everybody. Don't say that to everybody. Just because she looking, and then too, y'all, in real life, she's looking like the older woman picking on the young girl. She do. Like, yeah, no, it's, it's this ain't a good look. This is not a good look. Um, Sag knows how to make enemies out of people, real or, not real or imagined, not imagined, child. Uh, yeah, Fire, I think Nikki was pissing Kim off and poking at her back then and refusing to admit she was an inspiration. Yeah, I definitely feel like this is, this is, this is, ooh, this is karma in so many ways. But if I was Lil' Kim, I would feel very vindicated right now. I'd be like, ha, 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 ha. Now, granted, it's years later, but I'd feel vindicated nonetheless. But let's get into it. Um, Let's go straight to the good stuff. What's going to become of this beef? Now, what I feel in the energy is, yeah, we got, we about to witness one of the most exciting, you know, PR beefs, even though, you know, but we about to, we about to witness something that's about to make music real exciting right now. You know, it's like, okay, this is what we were looking for. We about to see them pull out their better rap skills because this is the thing too. Like Megan, Megan is a smart woman. Like, like you can listen to Megan's be like, Megan make a lot of, you know, romance music in terms of like, you know, talking about, you know, sex and whatnot and, and, and this, that, and the other. But people forget just because like Megan's, Megan's multifaceted. Megan is, is a smart woman. And we saw that. We saw that with her wordplay on his. We saw that with all these double entendres. We saw that. We saw it. People didn't even catch the part about her saying, you know, y'all my pimps. Like, here we go. Everybody's always comparing, you know, Megan to Pimp C. Megan has always said she got her inspiration from Pimp C. Megan's alter ego is derivative from Pimp C's alter ego. So the fact that she leaned in and was like, you know, like, you know, like, you might as well, you know, I might as well be your pimp. Like, she's leaning into the Pimp C comparisons. So I'm like, literally, y'all, it's like you can listen to it surface level and be like, ah, she got you. And then you can listen to it and be like, ah, she got you. That's intelligent. That's intelligence. It's like, y'all, don't play with Meg. Don't play with Meg. Uh, you said it was okay. I don't like her flow. You ain't got to like her flow, but you can't deny that the girl is giving Nikki a heartache. The woman is about to have a stroke. And so I'm like, and then one thing about Nikki, though, Nikki's really smart, too. And this is why I feel like there's a lot of girls that can't stand up to Nikki when it comes to, like, being able to fight back. Because I do agree, um read that you know nikki needs time but when nikki puts her mind to it like you know she puts her pen to it for real but i'm like but nikki is used to go like i said like a like like like, like the people that she be fighting with yeah they they there for the they there for the for the for the craft cart you know they're there for the for the gowns they're there for the time being but megan 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 something else megan is something else Y'all can't mess with a person who read books. Can't mess with a person who read books. Um, you said I don't like the flow either, Fiery. So yeah, but that's why that's why Nikki is all up in a in a in a tizzy. I'm like, cause they're both on each other's level when it comes to you know lyric capabilities. You said, but she can she can rap, but it wasn't for me. Yeah, they're both on each other's level when it comes to intelligence and lyrical capabilities. And people, I know the fandoms don't like to hear stuff like that, but you got two smart women going back and forth with one another. And that's why this is now a fair fight. We about to get a good one because you put Nikki against a lot of, 
And I like Lotto. I ain't gonna even lie to y'all. I like me some Lotto, but no, nah, baby. She ain't stupid, but no, nah, baby. Um, <clears throat> any of them city girls, I now nah, I love me some JT though. But no, no, and JT is on a different energy. JT in a different lane. Like she's she almost gives Zen girl. Like, look, I'm just trying to get my career going. Um, and then the rest of them, ain't that I can the rest of them don't even kind of come close. So it's kind of like, you know, them girls couldn't fight with her even if they wanted to. And maybe, maybe a Doja, but even Do Doja, we, we already know Doja's in her, she's in a whole different bag. I love Doja for totally different reasons. <laughs> Doja's in a whole different bag. But yeah, when we talk about people that are on each other's level, I mean, y'all may not want to admit that, but like, like I said, Megan is a smart gal. Um, y'all can't mess with a person who read books. This is why people, be, that's why people so mad at Cat Williams. Cat Williams is a smart man. It's like, you can't say a dumb joke on Cat. Or be like, ah, that's why da 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 da. It's like he gonna pull some stuff out that you like. What? Shut up. You know. So that's what it is. Um, which also too. That's why I say, yeah, I can't wait to see this back and forth. This is about to be good. This is about to be good because we got two women who know how to use their words and know how to use them effectively going back and forth. So I'm like, I'm actually really excited about this. I'm excited to see both of their numbers go up. I'm excited to see the tours pop off. But I'm like, see, and that's the thing too. As an Aquarius, and y'all know I share the same birthday as Meg. Like, as an Aquarius, you know, like, we see the greater good in things. I may not attack you the first, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventeenth time, but please know I was taking notes. Please know I was taking notes. <laughs> And when I do open my mouth, <laughs> I'm going to tell you why you're not going to like me. Because, baby, I ain't got a lot on you to make you feel bad. She, and the crazy thing is, Megan didn't even come the hardest at Nikki. And I love the fact that, ne that Megan called into Breakfast Club. And I'm telling y'all, my, my mottos, my little word phrases for 2024, one, swallowed up. <laughs> Because <laughs> Nikki is getting swallowed up right now. And a hit dog will motherfucking holler. Did she not say that before dropping that record? And who was the first person to scream? I said, damn, Nikki, shut up, girl. Just stop. Onika, put the phone down. I I promise you. I'm like, dag, dag. And then she also did in Aquarius fashion. You set that fire to that dumpster and you walk the hell away, baby, because I ain't about to get you with lies, sweetie. I'm going to tell you about yourself. I'm going to tell you your truth. That's an Aquarius. I'm going to tell you your truth because I know what's going to hurt way more than a lie is you facing yourself in the mirror. It ain't, and to this day, to this day, it ain't my relationship, but Nikki, girl, you married a sex offender. Now, whether he did X, Y, Z, A, B, C, I don't know. But you married a man who had a tarnished name. Like, come on. And then even the fact that, like, I love when Nikki get into her alter ego, but it really ain't helping right now that Roman Polanski, who her alter ego is fashioned after, was also a sex offender. It's really not helping for her. And it's really not helping the fact that her brother, which that ain't got nothing to do with her. You know, she didn't make... But that he was a sex offender. And it also ain't helping for her that Nikki has known collaborations. She walked into a collaboration with 6ix9ine. Walked into it with 6ix9ine. 6ix9ine didn't bed for that. She walked into it. And that song was kind of hot. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. She did her big one in helping out him for that little moment. But another sex offender. It just really don't help Nikki right now. Silence is golden. Silence is golden. You said, nah, Megan had that reporter that covered her trial tweeting the line about Megan's line. Sorry, that made me laugh so hard <laughs> about Megan's law. Yeah, it was, I mean, like I said, the girls may not want to know this one, but Nikki, and she doing it for her. That's the other thing. Like, that's why I'm like, why Nikki needs to be quiet right now? Because I'm like, Nikki, you are giving too much ammunition out. Like, you, you just... Just, just just, go go Beyonce with it. Just be like, put it in the music. Put it in the music. This is why I do, I do have a lot of admiration for 
Jay-Z and Beyonce. And Jay-Z, if you listen to him, he always talk about, you know, how he, you know, he's an alchemist. He put it in his music. I do alchemy. And what that is, is you take, you take the bad or you take the mundane, you take the un, you turn it into gold, you turn it into money. Jay-Z don't address nothing out his mouth directly and no, no interviews. He barely give, give anything to him. He barely say people names, but he'll tell it to you in a song. And the first thing everybody doing, run to go run those numbers up. They go run to purchase it. They go run it. Same thing with Beyonce. And it's honestly a part of Rashi's on top where she is. She, she saves it for the music. I'm like, Nikki, stop giving her ammunition. Because right now, it ain't even, you not even allowing her to try. Like, let her try. Like, give her the opportunity to have to fight against you. You know, let her have to come up with a strategy. Because right now, Nikki just like, she's just like, here, take it all. You know, like, it's it's really giving crazy. So, and, and like I said, it's just, whew. her calling in, Megan calling in, saying a hit dog will holler. And the fact that Nikki was the first one to scream, I'm telling y'all, it, it's like the stars are just aligning a little bit too much. And like I said, I need Onika's friends. I don't know who, somebody who loved the woman. I need her, I need them to come go find her and take her phone and say, Onika, I know you mad, but I'm going to need you to not say it out loud and put it in a song and just kind of wait until you, because it's giving it's giving react versus respond. It's giving react versus respond. And I, even I'm like, I'm, I've am i been looking at the tweets, I've been hearing the lives, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, Nikki sound a little mad, mad, like a little a little alarmingly so man. I'm like, ah. And then before we get into this reading, I do want to say this. I find it interesting. She got this smoke for Megan because she know Megan ain't about to roll up. But, but, but Cardi stay throwing shots at her. Cardi stay throwing shots at her. She has, she's come at Megan harder than she's come at Cardi ever. And I'm going to tell y'all why. Because Cardi is truly about that life. Flashback to 2018 at the Bazaar, Harper's Bazaar party in the upper echelons of the A-listers. And Cardi came out that gate with no shoes on, ready to brawl. That's why Nikki ain't got words for Cardi B, the fighter. Because Cardi really will pull up on her address and come for her. Because Cardi is great. And that's why, too, that's why, they, that's why they're really at odds, if you ask me. Because Cardi and Nikki are one and the same. They're one and the same. They're both very you know they get they get too temperamental and they let the is get oh y'all i lost some people they're, they're not the same <laughs> see they fandoms the same too the fandom the barbs and, the, and whoever called who, whatever cardi the calls her people they, they 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 crazy they unhinged and there's no no shade to any barbs or but but y'all but Crazy how Cardi stayed taking shots and Nikki has yet to give her the same energy as Meg. And y'all can feel how y'all can feel. But at the end of the day, the facts are still the facts. You can look it up on the Internet. The Googler will tell you that Cardi, that, that Meg has yet, not Meg, Nikki has yet to come at Cardi the way she's come at Meg in the last 48, 72 hours. And all it took was Meg to say one true statement, not lies, <laughs> one true statement. After shot, after shot, after shot being taken at her from Nikki. And Cardi has gone below the belt, underneath the belt, into the ground, under beneath, and has tried to physically beat that woman. And to this day, is when, when was 2018? Was that five years ago, six years ago? Six years later, she still has yet to try to beat Cardi's ass. Wild, wild. And at the, that's why I said, my motto, a hit dog will holler all 2024. I'm going to tweet that after this live. Now, now that I'm done with my monologue, you said even Meg, because Cardi ain't no good competition. Like, let, like, and I told y'all too, like Cardi, which I respected, Cardi came in the game looking for money. Cardi tells you, in, even in her song money, you know, I don't really care about, I don't care, I really care about nothing but the money. Like she lets you know, like she came in here looking for money. So Cardi has fulfilled her, 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 her purpose. You know, from her standpoint, Cardi wanted to Cardi wanted to be wealthy. Cardi loves being a personality. So I definitely can see that. And like I said, Cardi's star isn't falling. Uh, but she loves to entertain in that way. I'm like, she saw rapping as a means to an end to a lifestyle she no longer wanted to live. She didn't want to strip anymore. And even when you like listen to Cardi in her interviews about what how she became a stripper, she 
it was a means to an end. Like she didn't strip because it's like, oh, I was lost in the salt. No, she didn't want to be out there struggling anymore. She, you know, she wanted to get out of, so she used what she got to get what she want. And then she used that to further leverage herself. So, I mean, in those regards, I'm like, Cardi is a smart woman. Like I, before, before Cardi showed how unhinged she was, when I was watching um, Love Hip Hop, I was rooting for Cardi. I'm like, I love the fact that, you know, she literally is somebody who, pulled herself up rags to riches so i get it and that's why cardi's not really competitive because cardi's nobody competition she don't want to rap cardi does and her fans may not like that one but i'm like y'all we might be sitting on the dock of the bay waiting for cardi to release a whole record because cardi doesn't want to be a rapper she wants exactly what she got right now and she's 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 made she's fulfilled her prophecy in those regards um uh, yeah, Cardi can't rap, but Cardi, Cardi's appeal, and I will give her this, if I could say something nice, Cardi definitely has, she, she's an entertainer, she definitely has pizzazz, charisma, and she's fun, you know, like when Cardi's not giving, you know, hurt girl energy, I can't, it's not even hater, it's hurt, you can see trauma, and same thing with Nicki, it's hurt, when they're not, when Cardi's not giving hurt girl energy, her music is really fun, like Invasion of Privacy was a really good album, like, you know, it's it's fun. She gives fun. But but outside of that, I would and I'm not even gonna lie. I'd be interested to hear another Cardi album. But from the energy of Cardi giving us the mindset that she was in when she did her mixtapes, the mindset she was in when she gave in Invasion of Privacy, because those were those were good songs. <laughs> like even to this day, I still listen to Invasion of Privacy. And I'm like, these were you can even feel the energy on it felt good. So I want that type of Cardi uh, music, you know. I, she tried it with bongos. It wasn't given. Um, but that's what Cardi needs to, you know, get into. But the Hurt Girl energy, I'm like, Cardi, that's not working for you. But anyway, let's find out what's going to become of this feud. What's going to become of the feud? Let me pull out. I got to pull out a different deck for this one. I want fresh energy. I want untainted energy. Do I want to use my tattoo tarot? I thought I had another deck over here. All right. Untainted energy. Uh, Betty says, well, I do have Betty. So, so everybody knows, y'all know I monetize all my videos. So I don't have control over the commercial breaks. I do have uh, monetization on and the monetization, I have it um, on default settings, which means that YouTube is controlled. So if y'all are seeing commercials in between, it's it's YouTube. But y'all already know. I told y'all that the, the, the conundrums back and forth with YouTube. Like, so they doing something crazy on that end. Um, and then, too, I'm watching y'all from my other account. I have YouTube premium, so I don't see commercials on my end of things. So I don't I don't know what the commercial breaks are looking like. But it's YouTube. Uh, yeah, I have monetization on and I have them on on all my videos. All my lives are monetized, but they're everything is being controlled by YouTube. So if it's stopping in between, um, for commercials, y'all gonna have to call YouTube about that one because I there's no way I can control that. Um, because yeah, I have it on the default setting. I don't, I don't, you can't place my manual commercials in there during lives. You said if you have Android, get YouTube Vance. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't, that's why I said, I don't know the apps that are there to stop that. Cause like I said, I have a YouTube premium, so I don't see ads. At least not on my, on my personal account. I don't have it on my other one. I don't get the whole big, but Y'all know I hang out on YouTube a whole lot. So <laughs> I ended up getting YouTube premium after they um, introduced it those years back. You said, I hope they pay. I hope they pay me too. That's what I'm saying. I hope they give me something too. I, that's what I said. I'm the little channel that could. And that's why I be telling y'all the ins and outs of YouTube. Like they really be tripping. And then I told y'all too what, what, what my issue was with the shorts. Because however they distribute and they do the short situation. Like. You have to make, like, I've made money from the shorts, but we're talking about literal pennies, literal pennies, but they actually make money off of that. But so that I'm like, there's a lot of stuff I don't see. That's why I said this platform annoys me in a lot of ways. Um, and basically I haven't found one to replace this one that's of this stature, but yeah, 
So that's why it's like, whatever YouTube doing, and they always changing guidelines. Like, I'm not even playing. Like, there's something going on with YouTube constantly. <laughs> but yeah, but if y'all seeing commercial breaks, it's YouTube. You said, yeah, the shorts are no. Yeah, that's what I said. The shorts, yeah. Because And the crazy thing is, y'all, and I'm going to get into this reading for real right now. I've seen, um, the crazy thing is, I've seen commercial breaks in, in the middle of shorts now. Like, when I'm watching shorts, um, and let's say I'm watching it from Wander and Sparrow, because that's not a premium account. I see little break, and I'm like, what do I need a break in between a 30-second clip? So, it's YouTube trying to make their money. Um... Yeah, that's what I said. I don't mean, yeah. Um, let's see, universe, spirit guides, and ancestors. So, yeah, what makes me the money is the view retention and you all actually watching the content. Um, now they say I make a little bit if people interact with the um with the advertisers, but really not really. I don't think even the big people, I don't think it they really see anything off of that. So it's view retention and of course numbers. That's how I'm gonna see any type of like, oh, you know. They sent me $3 today. <laughs> and literally, it'd be like $3, y'all. But like I said, but to anybody out there that wants to go on a content creator journey, I'm not discouraging y'all. I still say it's worth it, even on this platform. So still do it. But just know it is a heart project. You got to want it because, yeah. But anyway, let's get into it. Let's see. What's going to be the outcome of this beef? How, what, what, what's going to be the result? Ooh, child. Okay, we got a two of pentacles that want to pop out. Uh, universe spirit guides and ancestors thank you for the channel messages what's gonna happen during this beef between nikki and meg what's going to be the outcome wait reed says how do we interact click on the ads and go to the website um i'm trying to think like i know that there's different ad types like they have the ones that pop up across the screen and underneath uh so like if you click on those and stuff but no i even seen it like i've looked at my channel from you know like from the web before to see what it looks like for for viewers y'all there's not i don't see very relatable ads on my like i'm y'all not about to like you know click on it well, I, for most people i don't know but I don't anticipate people necessarily clicking on, ad, uh, on ads for ads cream and stuff like that. You know, it'd be some funny ads that be connected to my stuff. And then at one point in time, when it came to that's why I said the, the games that YouTube play, when it came to the videos that my my stuff was recommended on, y'all, I wasn't even being recommended to English speaking content. And it wasn't even esoteric stuff. It would be like Russian content, you know. And something completely out the realm of tarot. Like I can see if it was like, oh, you know, Russian tarot readers, but no, or Russian astrology readers, it would be something completely out of. And I'm like, nobody looking for that content is going to want to click on a tarot reading and the vice versa. So they play games. They play games. Um, but let's get into it. Universe, spirit guides and ancestors. I would want to do a couple channel, but I don't got no man. LOL. Universe Spirit Guides is, you know what? Maybe that might be a go. Start a couple channel, you know, with the Invisible Man. <laughs> That'll manifest some of it. And you will get a whole bunch of viewers. I would watch that. <laughs> In real life, I would watch somebody with an invisible uh, partner. And actually go through it. That's, there you go. There go your idea fire. You actually go through the whole motions of what they do on a couple's channel. Only the man is invisible. I would watch that. Now, that's entertainment. Universe Spirit Guys, it is us. Thank you for the channel messages. Tell me what's going to be the results. You said don't encourage our shenanigans. <laughs> uh, what's going to be the results of this beef between Nikki and Meg? Give me two cards. What's going to be the results of this beef between Nikki and Meg? Give me two cards. Eight of Cups and the Upright. That's, that's the energy of being emotionally withdrawn. Definitely there's a huge money angle coming out because the fact that there's an emotional withdrawal, I do feel like at some point and in this year, uh, Nikki's energy, though, it's not going to when there's no friendship here. I'm going to tell you all that there's no kumbaya moment, but it is going to calm down in the sense of what we're seeing today or what we saw over the weekend, which was her initial reaction. That's going to calm down. So she's going to bring it back. 
But we are definitely going to hear shots being fired for the next however many years it takes. Um, but once again, this is what we come for. Like, I come for the entertainment. Like I said, I have no dog in this fight. I want to see all of the mess. Like, you know, you can say whatever you want to say about, about Megan. That's for her to defend. I'm, I'm here with the popcorn. Um, we have the high priestess in the upright. This is an elevation for both ladies' career. Now, to say that, especially about Nikki, because she already has a very elevated career, this is definitely an elevation for both of their careers, but elevation beyond where their stature is now. So, you know, like once again, we're already talking about A-list rappers and we're already talking about, yeah, Nikki's career. Yeah, it's undeniable. But there is something about this career to uh, uh, not about not about this career. There is something about entryway for Nikki, because we do know that famously Nikki did have a black ball moment. You know, it was a Nikki hate train. We can't deny that it was, you know. It was a substantial amount of time where Nikki was uninvited and she persevered through. And that's the real reason why Nikki career could have fell off, but didn't because Nikki had it in her, but that's that Virgo moon. Nikki got a Virgo moon. She worked like Beyonce. Um, you know, Nikki, she, she truly does music because she loves it. So I do feel like there's something evolving around that one. Image wise, things will kind of calm down in that sense. That's what I'm getting with that one. There's an evolution here. Uh, universe spirit guides and ancestors what's going to happen as a result of this nikki and meg beef tell me more what's coming up it's going to happen definitely on megan's end like once again the stars are aligning um the best thing she could have did was and not just against nikki um because trust me i'm gonna be doing megan versus drake y'all i want to know I now that's the one. Ah, I got words for that one. Y'all think I had words for the Nikki and Meg situation? I got words for Drake and Meg because, oh man, Drake, 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 Drake is a whole bum b. He's a bitch. Forgive my English, but I just I always have a thing too when you get men that will come very hard. Up, oh, we just lost the Drake fan. When you get men that go real hard against women. And yet got all, got, this man got slapped, <laughs> got all the way psh, 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 in the mouth, um, you know, in real time by Diddy and, and didn't say a peep, didn't, didn't say a peep, but once again, got all the smoke for this woman. And so, like I said, y'all think that I had words between this. Oh no, no, that's my, now, my real opinions are, are, are over there, but we're not talking about them two tonight. But I am going to look further into that beef between those two because Drake is a, he's a, mm -mm, we're not doing it. Anyway, Universe Spirit Guides and Ancestors. But for Meg, uh, what is this going to result for her? You all, like I said, the stars are aligning with this beef. This is one of those things where, and I told y'all too in a previous reading, I think it was two, two lives ago, um, two celebrity lives ago where Meg, where I said that, you know, Meg has some powerful people in her pocket. We are seeing those people come to come to her aid. Um, and then I had told you all that it was looking like, a, like it was like Megan, ooh, while her career wasn't faltering, it was going to be a hard climb. Y'all, this is that thing where it's like, you know, where, where it's like that opportunity, she jumping out towards that opportunity. Opportunity has arisen and this is going to be the one that's going to re-situate Meg back on track. Because, I mean, in all reality, the situation between her and Tori really did dampen her career as well as his. And so, though she's not serving, you know, jail time and, and stuff like that, like, you know, and that's why Tori's career fell. Because, honestly, it's it's the jail that, that, that stopped, that's dampened Tori's career. Um, in real life, if he had not gone to jail, if he, you know, even if we know what, what he did. But somehow, some way, the justice system didn't work. His career would not, it would be intact in real life. As much as I don't like him, I'm not even saying this in like a good sense, like his career. No, his career would be intact. That's very strong in energy. So jail is what stopped that train. Um, you said men are different these days. 50 does the same thing. Fight with, exactly, fight with women. But ain't got none of these words for the men. Uh, except for Diddy. Now, I do, I do like the fact that 50 is standing on business when it comes to Diddy. I am... Oh, I want to see that fight, baby. I'm, oh, I'm going to be front row for that. We all saw when she lied to Gil. She lied to Gil, but I also get that too. If I Now, y'all know, you got that one person that you slept with that you know you shouldn't have been dealing with. And you ain't trying to tell everybody your business. It ain't everybody's business that I slept with the hobgoblin underneath the, the bridge. Maybe I won't want people to know. 
They don't want people to know that I was being stupid. <laughs> I will say that was a dumb lie. She should have just either had her um her people say, look, don't ask about that they sex life. Or she should have just sat there and been quiet. Just like, when in doubt, choose silence. I'm telling y'all, you may not be, you know, the lying kind, but when in doubt, choose silence. You said just because other people effed up don't mean the queen can't make songs with them. Why? Why you all so just? Oh, damn, y'all. We got the Nikki fans coming in. Hey, Don. What's up, girl? Um, Did you push like on this video? Don, that's what I mean. Don, why are you here trying to comfort people? Because little do you know, it's a lot of Nikki fans on here. I'm the one standing standing with my chest out, <laughs> defending uh, Meg. But why are you here, girl? I'm going to need you to hit subscribe, and I'm going to need you to hit like, and I'm going to need you to hit share because, baby, I'm going to keep talking about Nikki. So I want you to make sure you make sure you got a front row for this, okay? Make sure you got a front row. And tell your friends. Tell your friends, love. Um, you said... If you're going to be a whole stand on your whole shit. And she did that. Megan did that. That's why I respect her too. I'm like, look at Megan. Bodies on bodies on bodies on bodies. That's why I said, y'all go back and break down the lyrics. She said, okay, find it. I'm a whole well. Bodies on bodies on bodies on bodies, bitch. <laughs> that's what I'm like. That's the other thing too that I want to see out of Nikki. I want to see Nikki lean in because. Is it fair that they call a Nikki old? No, because I'm like, Nikki's not old. She can't help the fact that she's 42. And I'm like, even though Nikki's older, I'm like, the woman has an impressive run. So I'm like, y'all wish y'all could be 42 with her run. Like, hope that you get to Nikki's run. However, though, it's not a good look, you being the older woman picking on the young girls. And we're not even talking about just Meg at this point. I'm like, you know what? Nikki, lean in. Because if I was Nikki, the first thing I'd be like, yeah, bitch, I may be a grandma, but you hope your career was, you hope your career end up like mine. You hope you get a fraction of my type of shine. I would be in, I lean all the way in. I'm like, you hope that you 42 with my type of career. You hope you 42 with my type of money. You hope you 42 one day with my type of my type of influence. Pray that God gets you this far. I would lean all the way in. I'd be like, I may be super freaking grandma, but I but guess what? <laughs> you still listening. You still trying to be like me. You done fashioned your whole fashion. Out. I would be, I would tell all, I would remind all these girls on why they wearing colored wigs, why they doing animated raps. And why they um yeah, and why they 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 acting the way they do because same way Lil Kim was the blueprint for a lot of the girls, Nikki is definitely the blueprint for these girls. And I would remind them every second, I could be as old as I want to be, but baby, guess what? <laughs> look who carbon copy you look like. She's the blueprint for Cardi. There's a lot of times I look at all of them and I'm like, damn. They all look like Nikki. Like how all the other girls are looking like, you know, the women outside of rap be looking like him. Because Kim is a blueprint, you know, like her or not, Kim Kardashian is a blueprint. I would lean into that. I'd be like, okay, I'm so old, then why are you copying me? <laughs> so I would lean in. I want Nikki to like lean into that because I'm like, that's a feat that a lot of people will not see. And a lot of people won't have. And the fact that she's 42, but she's relevant, as relevant as these young girls. And you still got girls. You got my niece is in the alpha generation. She's not a Gen Z. My niece is 11. One, one. And likes and 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 loves her some Nikki. That says a lot. You got eleven year olds. Nikki could be her whole mama. Eleven year olds that's still going like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So I'm like, no. If I was Nikki, I would lean in. I there's no way I would let these girls try to shade me on some age. Like, bitch, I can only get older. Like what? Like talk to God about that one. First of all. Second of all, you wish you had a fifteen year career. Don't come for me. <laughs> I would lean the hell in. Um, right. They're all looking like Nikki. I would lean into that. I'm like, girl, you are literally the blueprint. Like that's the best, highest compliment flattery beyond flattery. All these girls look like Nikki. Hell, that's times I look at, at Meg and see Nikki. So I'm like, if I was Nikki, like I said, I, 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 I'd, I'd lean in. I'd be like, all oh, y'all, my carbon copies game over. <laughs> like her longevity alone is her checkmate. Like, okay. I could be old, but you wish you had my career. You wish you can get as old as I am. You said, because nobody can rap like me. Yeah, I do like Doja. That's why I said Doja, she and her weird girl bag. She in a different little lane. But I like Doja. I love me some Doja. Um, but 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 Doja gonna stay her butt over that Doja. 
Because <laughs> notice Doja had her little little silent little tiff with Nikki. Uh, because you know Doja was supposed to be on that album on Nikki's latest album. She had her little silent little tiff, but she stayed over there. She like, oh, I'm not playing with y'all. <laughs> Because she knows she knows Nikki, Nikki, Nikki keep Doja don't have the heart to go back and forth like that. She don't like Doja. Doja is is clever. She's intelligent. I love her music, but she ain't got the heart to go back. And, you know, Doja not Doja not from that. She's not from that energy. She's not from them, them parts. So she ain't got the heart. Doja, she she's staying right over there in her um in her cat rhinestone bag. But let's get into it. But yeah, so this is definitely going to be an elevation and evolution for both of these women's career. You know, uh, like I said, it's not even kind of over for Nikki. So, you know, here in Black Twitter um, or any of the Twitterverse, because y'all not even Black Twitter going off. All the all the Twitters, all the Twitters, um, Gen Z suburban TikTok are just really coming out with these think pieces and, and all of this. And I'm like, wow. But I'm like, but at the end of the day. It's that it goes back to that saying that no press is bad press because I'm like, y'all all still elevated her career because now her numbers have run up even further because now you want to hear the craziness, you know. So I'm like, eh. you said all oh, off topic, but I kind of I'm kind of disappointed. Azealia Bates career. That's the only other one. That's the only other one that I'm like, could have gave a run for the money. Azealia Banks. She could have gave a run. I. I'm kind of sad about that one too. That's a career that 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 should have thrived. And it was all industry politics. It's not her mental status or nothing like that because Lord knows, as much as I love me some Kanye, Kanye out of his whole damn mind and still got a whole popping career. But Azalea was was definitely um she that unfortunately industry politics is what got in the way of that. And it's sad. It's really sad. And to this day. T.I. needs to, he needs to slap himself for exalting Iggy over, you know, like really. But anyway, that's a whole nother fight for a whole nother day. Um, but yeah, hers, that was a tragedy, travesty. You said, right, but she wanted to sacrifice cat, not cats and chickens in her closet. You know what? She the only one that talk about it because there's more people out here sacrificing goats, chickens, cats, people, babies. She the only one that talk about it. Um, universe spirit guys and ancestors, but there's an elevation for both ladies' career. What's going to be the result? Uh, what's going to come from this beef between Nikki and Meg? Give me two cards. Hold on, let me see if Don subscribes since she over here saying we jealous. Meanwhile, I'm in the midst of Nikki fans. Oh, see, that's why I just keep getting me. Y'all be coming here, not y'all, isn't y'all watching me, but folks be coming in here trolling. <laughs> And don't be hitting subscribe. Don't be hitting like. Don't be hitting super chat. Like, that's so rude. Like, you... no etiquette. I don't know who be raising folks. Um, Crazy. Found my life to talk about some something you don't even know about. Uh, we got the star card that came out in the reverse. Y'all, as quickly. Now, here's the thing. This beef is going to be ongoing. Definitely through 2024. Um, and peaking into 2025, but here's the star card. Something's going to come about to dampen. So right now is the time for these ladies to really jump on this, 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 this moment train. Cause y'all already know like news these days, it's, it's like popcorn. Like we already, we went from Diddy to cat and it's been some stuff in between. Now we on Nikki and, and Meg right now. They got to strike where the iron is hot. The both of them, they got to, you know, use this. Use this because there's something else coming up. Uh, I feel like come March, that's going to overshadow this current beef. So this is one of those situations where, yeah, if played right, and it will be, these both these ladies going to use this to their advantage. It's evolving and elevating their career. Now for Meg, it's doing, definitely it's going to do the most, um, what do you call it? It's going to do the most good for Megan's career in particular, because Megan's career was the one that was kind of like imbalanced, like, you know, like really it it, it, it was kind of touch and go. It was kind of touch and go. So this opportunity that she's getting from this little beef moment and it's about to be. And I'm going to tell you right now, it, if you think this is it, it's Nikki's just the first person to say something. But Megan got other people coming for her. I can already feel it in the energy. There's other people coming for her. So Megan, Megan out here, she 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 better, you know, suit up because she about to be in a whole war. You know, however, though, 
this is this is Megan's this is Megan this is Megan fighting back for her career literally fighting back for the career this is Megan's chance to go back to where she would have been had you know the situation not happened between her and Tori so this is her comeback this is her get back this is her I'm reinstating so that's the good that's coming out so definitely the the bigger advantage or not advantage the bigger uh uh, uh what do you call it advantage is not the word I'm trying to use but 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 benefit you know that's not the word I want to use either but it's coming from it's coming towards Meg so this because once again Nikki may not be everybody's favorite when it comes to different situations that and honestly to be fair Nikki has no control over what her brother this is that but Nikki's career is on the up and up right now like her she's good she's real good um but Meg Meg was in the balance and that's 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 what's real Meg was in the balance um Traumazine you know didn't do what it was supposed to do. I mean, Trauma Zine was a good-ass album, too. Didn't do what it was supposed to do. Meg was in the balance. She's getting out the balance. And now Meg is taking her rightful place. It's not replacing. It's not going to replace Nikki by far. But Meg, she's taking her little place. You know, when we think about big rap names, we got Nikki, we got Doja. And when I'm talking about big rap names, I'm talking about women who could hold a, a, a tour by themselves. Women who could who could sell out a, um, an arena, you know? And I went to that Doja show. That was her first arena tour. I went to that Doja. Y'all, it was packed. Are you tell? I was third row too. Saw the sweat coming off her ass. I need to post those pictures up on my social media, the videos. Because she did good. Doja did good. I'm so proud of her. But Doja sold out that arena. So when we talk about women who could sell out arenas, um, not women that could, you know, be a part of an arena show. No, women that can fill the seats and have the catalog to match. We got Nikki, we got Doja, and then when we talk about rap girls, we got Doja, and then Meg is going to be one of them. So, you know, pick a side if you want. And then Cardi, I'll give Cardi out. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Cardi was, but I don't know where she at now. But we, with Cardi still out there in the atmosphere, but still, though, that's still only four women. When we think about the, the male rappers out here, you know, you can ramble off names and be like, oh, shit, that's a stadium tour right there. You know, like Jay-Z, that's a stadium tour you know we we ain't in an arena he's in a stadium you know so let's see all the new york music girls do magic cardi has over right that was it cardi is into santeria so <laughs> but that's why i said i'm not mad at cardi's come up it was a it was a smart come up i'm happy for that one you know it's just that you know she just needs to calm it down a bit in regards to letting people get under her skin but but literally that girl did straight up magic she manifested this entire thing i'm like now, if she don't want to rap no more, that's the bad Cardi needs to be in. Um, Cardi has old photos. People swear. Yeah, J Jennifer Lopez definitely goes to spiritualists. Um, she's been seen coming out of botanicals. Yeah, yeah. And it's a part of her heritage, too. You said, actually, V, do you see Nikki in the occult? Because she says she isn't, but accuses everyone else of being a witch. You know what? Let's get into it. She probably isn't. <laughs> she probably isn't for real. And that's why she like you. <laughs> you wicked women, you know, her spirit guys, ancestors. Is Nikki in the occult? That's probably why, too, why she ate because it's like, because I do feel like she honestly works. She honestly works. And you can tell for Nikki, it's not about money. It's not even about the fame. Fame for her is like a byproduct. It's truly about the music. It's like when I think of her, when I think of Beyonce, like, why do they keep going how hard they go? It's about the music. So, and, but then again, let me come down because Beyonce, Beyonce be doing the didgeridoos too. But hard work really did get Beyonce where she is. You know, sure, magic may have assisted it, but hard work got her where she is. Um, but yeah, I I don't, Aria, I'm going to pull the cards, but I really don't feel that Nikki uses magical means. And like I said, I feel like, and it would make sense too why, you know, there is anger there because it's like, I'm not doing this from assistance. I'm doing this in real life from 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 hard work and talent now i will say though it may not be magic that she did but we can't deny the fact that y'all nikki's career was destined to happen it just was the fact that when nikki came out people were on the way out literally like i told you the two big ones remy was was remy was supposed to have a way bigger career remy was supposed to be cardi you know career level remy went away Kim went away. Now I know we had Trina. I, I love, you know, I, I actually like Trina music, but but it wasn't it wasn't standing next to it wasn't standing next to the Kims or nothing. It definitely wasn't standing next to Nikki's. 
the stars were truly aligned for Nikki. And that's why I feel like beyond anything, whether Nikki had competition or not when she came out, it was meant to be. It was fully meant to be because nobody else that I can think of in the industry in, in recent time alive has had her type of entryway into the industry where literally there was no competition. Like people were thirsty for it. And then on top of that, Nikki is good. So it's like, you know, it's like you getting Beyonce, but no other single existed. You know, like, yeah, you might have a single or two, but they, they, they're they not giving Beyonce. You know, it's you know it's giving, I love me some Cassie, but I'm talking about her singer skills because I love me some Cassie. It's giving Cassie, you know? And that's what Nikki, that's what Nikki's entryway was. She had nobody, and, and that's why I said, I'm not talking about the Iggy's. It wasn't nobody to, and then there was Azalea, but at the same time, once again, uh, industry politics got in the way of that industry politics um however though yeah it was a destined career so i don't think she she did the magic for that but there's no doubt in my mind nikki is exactly where she was supposed to be in life i'm like the, the, the pathways were, were were open hey jasmine uh we are still on nikki and meg you said and she had her own flow and style you said you said that obi as they say in trinidad Universe fair guys and answer. Yeah. And then at the time too, Nikki opened up the pathway. She was very brave when it came to her flow. Like, you know, like Nikki successfully looped in pop and rap. But I, was like, I got a lot of good stuff to say about Nikki too. Like I, I'm still crazy about her music. Um, but then like I said, with the celebrities and I, with a lot of these people, even Beyonce, as much as I'm crazy about her, I'm I'm go, I'm a fan of the music because you know, at the end of the day, these are human beings, they will, they will disappoint, they will mess up. Like, as much as I like Meg, Meg, I, I question things too. Like, girl, why would you say that? Girl, just, same thing I said with Nikki. Like, somebody take a phone, take a phone, take a phone. So I've said those moments with, with Meg too. Like, uh-uh. Just don't say nothing. This one of them silent moments. <laughs> but, but yeah, but, but Nikki opened the path where she successfully looped pop and rap. And honestly, be once again, I don't know if maybe somebody else had done that. I've seen, you know, like we had crossovers. You would see the rap people, you know, the rap girls or the or, or the rap guys on pop music. Mariah was was notorious for putting a rapper on her song, you know, and she was pop all day with a splish splash of R&B. However, though, Nikki successfully showed you what a pop like Nikki. She's a rapper, but she is a full on pop star. Like she came out the gate with crossover appeal and at the same time still held what was true to her. So it's like you you didn't question like, oh, man, is Nikki really who she is? She really hard. No, 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 no. She she gave you both of her personalities. She let you know I'm this and I'm that. I'm not going to choose. I'm going to hit you with a, I'm going to give you one of them hard hitting records because that's where I'm from. But I'm also going to give you this pop girl music, too. You're going to take what you're going to take. And thus birthed my girl Doja. It was the Nikki that gave leeway for a Doja to exist because we wouldn't have, if we didn't have that Nikki energy, we would have never taken Doja series. Doja would have, and I don't care how great of a musician Doja is, we would not have taken whimsical, you know, bunny cat Doja serious if it wasn't for Nikki saying, I don't give a damn. I'm going to come out here in my rainbow colored tights talking about Pippi Long stockings and y'all going to love it just as much as you like me talking about, you know, you know, coming up on bitches and da 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 da, like y'all gonna take it all because this is who I am. So that one, I'm like, when we go and we talk about Nikki's career, it, it's undeniable. And like I said, whether she had people there or not, her this was meant for her. It was meant for her. Like literally, the pathway is clear. So I, so to get into the question, I don't think that she's actually using. I don't think she's actually into the occult, but she got some powerful ancestors. I tell you that because whoever on her side in the five D cleared the way. Clear the way, baby. Universe, spirit, guys, and ancestors. Thank you for the channel messages. Um, is Nikki into the occult? Give me two cards. Is Nikki into the occult? Give me two cards. Is Nikki into the occult? Give me two cards. Is Nikki into the occult? Emperor in reverse. No, no. And then you got the full card in the upright. Um, she's maybe looked at things. Ooh, T. I do get that maybe she's looked at a reading or two about herself, but she's not, she doesn't dibble and dabble. I don't get that in the energy. That's not for her. Um, but Nikki got powerful ancestors. Like I said, whoever is on her side in the 5D cleared out the industry for her. 
And I'm like, at the end of the day, you got you can't deny the fact that the industry was cleared out for Nikki. <laughs> so talk about the stars aligning. Them stars, they were meant for her. The, the stars were spelling out Onika. Um, so so yeah. However, though, um, and wrapping up Nikki, because who else? Oh, I did want to peek into um Lotto and Ice Spice because this little beef uh kind of outshined, uh, it overshadowed another beef that has been brewing. <laughs> Um, right, prayer is powerful. Yeah, and and Nikki also talks about that. And truly, when it, I feel like when it comes to manifestation, whether she did it consciously or not, she's a master manifester. A lot of these people in these positions, and I'm not just saying it's got to be in a music position. You know, doctors, lawyers, you know, firefighters, but people who make it to these top tier positions or or the best version of their life, because you don't have to be you don't have to be rich and famous. That's not that's not success. Now, don't get me wrong. It's it's success according to capitalism, according to the American way. But that's not success. Success is you being very content and happy with your life. Success is you waking up, doing what you want to do, you know, having freedom, having self-autonomy. That's success. What you deem as success is success. But and that makes you a master, uh, a master manifester. You don't have to be famous, rich, what have you, to be a master manifester. Um, however, though. You know, what got her into this position is masterful manifestation, because I, I will say in her interviews from the past up until now, Nikki constantly talked about how hard she believed in herself. She all and that's what makes you a man. It's the belief. She's always had a undying belief. I remember our interview when she was talking about Safari told her to hang it up. Safari told her to hang it up. This was prior to her, you know, getting signed to Young Money. Safari told her to hang And it's like, has she listened to these people? We wouldn't have seen her. We wouldn't have gotten, we wouldn't have had this. So I'm like, no, she's she's a master manifester. She's always believed in herself. And that's the strong belief. She's always felt it. And that's how you manifest. You feel it. It was like she knew she was this version of Nikki before she was even, before we knew she was Nikki. So, so yeah, so she's manifested. This, this, was, this was meant for her. But um, I want to get into her feelings towards J and B um, because we already know Beyonce love us and Meg Thee Stallion. And then J, it's business. At the end of the day, it's, I don't think J feel a way about nothing. This man makes money. That's what that is. In fact, I don't know. Somebody let me know what is J's uh, Zodiac sign. He, he makes money. That's it. Um, however, though, I want to get into the feelings. And then I do want to look into Lotto and Ice Spice because... Uh, yeah, many people don't know. Ice did drop a record same day and Lotto didn't drop a record, but she dropped a feature that was addressing <laughs> Ice Spice. And so, but Ice is, was was her little beef. He's a Sagittarius, right? He is a Sag, December 4th. Um, but yeah, Ice Spice was, was shading, you know, she was doing her little beef thing with Lotto, but maybe, I don't know, God blocked it. He said, this this ain't happening right now, baby. <laughs> Your turn on you. And, and I already told y'all, Ice Spice, you know, like I said, I'm never going to hate on another person's come up. It was for her. But it, she got a little bit of pocket of time left. Because I, I did listen to the song. And I think I think it's a blessing that, that this Nikki Meg beef overshadowed that song. I'm going to just say that. I think it was a blessing. And I think I need her to go back to her. Grah. Yeah, she needs to hit that back up. You know, just leave the beefs alone. Because... It felt, when I listened to it, it felt like she was stumbling. You know, I was like, nah, grah, go back. Um, Universe Spirit Guides and Ancestors. Tell me about Nikki's feelings towards Beyonce at the moment. Tell me about Nikki's feelings towards Beyonce at the moment. Tell me about Nikki's feelings towards, because we know her feelings towards um, Jay. She threw little shots, so she ain't happy about it. We got the Seven of Swords reversed. We have, which one is this? Oh, we have the Six of Swords or a Six of Pentacles reverse. She's not happy about it, but y'all, we not going to see nothing crazy. She's not going, you know, Five of Swords reverse. I'm not seeing anything in the cards that's suggesting she's about to go all out. Now, I do feel the energy of she got words for Beyonce. Look, Seven of Swords, she got words for Beyonce behind closed doors. At best, though, we might hear rumors of what she thinks and what she feels. And it might more so be coming from the fandoms, you know, the beehive. Ooh, because y'all know, like I said, I, I love me, I love me some Beyonce, but the beehivers. And I tell people all the time, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, 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 I'm a Beyonce fan, but I'm not in that beehive, baby, because them beehivers are wild. They are unhinged. 
let me not say too much because I already had the, the crazy Nikki fans come in. I only need these beehives coming in. Um, because even when I used to do good read, like I have not done a negative reading on Beyonce ever, and the beehive is still to be attacking. I'm like, y'all come the hell on. I hope she paying rent over there. Um, but yeah, she definitely has some some words that she feels against Beyonce, but we're not gonna hear them. Now we may hear rumblings, or there may be people who try to start things up, you know, like, oh, she said this, she did that. Um, you know, oh, there's an unfollowing, but we're not gonna hear. So she knows, see. Nikki is smart enough to know to not to who not to come from. Like, like I said, she she may be in her feelings right now, but she's not trying to burn bridges and end it all. So she feels away though, but she's not gonna say anything out loud. So we're not gonna get any crazy beef. You know, even if it is subliminal shots that she take in her music, we won't know. Like she's not gonna go, you know, blonde head singer from a group named Destiny. She she not gonna give it. She's not gonna give us that. Um, but she does feel away. She does feel away. Um, however, though, this too shall pass. This too shall pass. Hold on, y'all. Let me plug this in. It's telling me that it's in my um computer dying. The battery is low, so this too shall pass. But let's see. I was gonna look into I'm I think I might save DDG and Ruby. I don't know. This is definitely getting long, and I don't think we care about DDG. 